Um, hello everyone. So in this tutorial, we will be installing a database application or manager that could uh, allow us to connect to our database and of course manage our database. So I'm currently using the uh, MacBook M1 chip so that you're aware and this is my OS. So, hindi naman siya masyadong malaki yung dependency regarding sa operating system. Kaya, uh, kahit anong OS mo, pwede mo siyang install So, bukas tayo ng browser and then punta tayo sa any search engine and then type nyo lang yung table plus. So, click yun yung first link ito yung ano nya and then you can just click download directly so it is a data management uh, application so that uh, if you're using command line no instead na mag command line pwede ito gamitin so just click on the download and meron silang for windows for mac and for linux so since we're using mac just click on download for mac and once you click the download, it will download the file and it will take some time depending on your internet speed. So I already downloaded it earlier. So nandito siya sa downloads folder ko. And once downloaded, <coughs> you just need to double click the installer. And this window will pop up. So i-drag nyo lang yung icon na to going to your application. And then once you hear the sound, uh, okay na siya. So, you can check it here sa launchpad. Ito so, nandito na siya. And you just uh, click nyo lang siya para lumabas yung UI. So, open lang natin. So, ito yung home page yung UI niya. Ito yung home uh, interface. So, minimize na natin yung iba. Ayan. Pag natapos nyo na i-download, pwede nyo i-eject ito sa desktop ninyo para wala na siya and then let's create a new connection no? so if you want to connect to your database, click nyo lang tong create new connection sa bottom part then magka pop up lahat ng possible database sa pwede nyo uh, kumonect so you have Postgres SQL Amazon, MySQL MariaDB Microsoft SQL Server Sandra, Clickhouse, Oracle, etc. So, since um, we are using MySQL, MySQL yung pipiliin natin. And then, click ka lang yung create. You can also do import from URL pag online, naka-online yung database. Show. So, here, you just need to supply the following uh, information na kailangan. So, I'll name this um, connection as example app since ito yung pangalan nung project na ginagawa ko sa Laravel. So, nagtatry lang ako ng project. And, it is running sa Docker. So, ito yung example app ko. And, may problem ako dito sa MySQL na hindi ko pa nasa-solve. Kaya, hindi ko mabuksan sa browser yung ano niya, database. So, since di ko siya ma-open sa browser, I'll be doing it here na lang using a table plus, no? So, the username, password, etc. is uh, set up inside my environment file. Ito siya. And, of course, uh, you can change this one depending uh, kung ano yung nakaset up sa inyo. So, sa akin, ito siya. And, supply lang natin yung information, no? Sale, yung username. And then, if walang password, select yun na password. Pero, since may password yung database ko, talagay ko lang yung password. Then, database name. Ayan. And then, once na fill up yun lahat, you can test the connection. Don't con check if successful ba siya. So, you can use also the doc socket, no? If, uh, if you want 
to use this one. Pero port na lang akin since open naman siya sa port. So you can change the port inside your Docker. So kanyang nag-run ka ng dalawang database. Pwede isang database running sa ibang port. Pero since I'm just running one database, uh, and I'm using the default port, hindi ko na kailangan i-use ito. So, in case meron kayo, uh, dalawang database, sa tagaran, simultaneously sa Docker, kunyari, uh, and they should be in a different port. No? So, you can select on this one. So, test na natin. Once na green ito, meaning, um, pwede kayong connect. So, click nyo lang yung connect. So that it will be connected, and here it is. No, wala pang laman yung table kaya blank pa siya. Pero pag sinek niyo to, I also have this information scheme, ano, sa root to. Yeah. So you can only use two database or workspace at a, at a time, no. So, for that free version. Yes, yeah. So, that's all for now. Thank you for watching. And see you on my next uh, tutorial videos.